fit pretty good. What's happening, La Familia YouTube? It has been a long time, but I am glad to be back with you guys. Fully vaccinated, holla at your boy. I will let you know when my superpowers start or in if and when I grow a third arm. <laughs> with that being said, today we are unboxing the Reebok Zig 3D Hydro, I believe it is called. <laughs> Not reading any cue cards right now. Well, as you guys can see, I'm on that futuristic shit again. And um, I saw these, I believe, on a high snobiety post. And um, <clears throat> they said that you could get it sometime this month, this month being April. And I fell in love with them aesthetically immediately. As you all know that have seen my videos before, or if you're new here, uh, I'm kind of transitioning from that like hype beast sneaker slash look world into more of a tech wear, more futurism, futuristic, cyberpunk, dystopian type look. And the transition has been very fun. And these shoes, I have to say, fit right into that aesthetic beautifully. Now we're gonna talk about a few things here. We're gonna talk about the lacing system. We're gonna talk about comfort and first impressions, et cetera, et cetera. First impressions, pulling them out of the box. I think they are absolutely super gorgeous. Um, they, the, I actually tracked down the, um, one of the main designers who helped design the shoe. I tracked down his Instagram account. I can't remember his name right now, but uh, the way he put it was, these are basically like Lamborghinis on your feet. And he wasn't lying. Like it really looks like uh, a Lamborghini from like the year 2050, <laughs> right on your feet. Now, I will say this, uh, I, right away when I first pulled them out of the box, they kind of gave me uh, the, the Salomon uh, shoe vibes. If you're not familiar with Salomon, they're a French company and they make a lot of trail runner style shoes, but the lacing system itself and just kind of the overall look of the shoe just kind of harkens to, or it seems like there's a little bit of a nod to that Salomon um, kind of aesthetic, but more futuristic, more sleek, I would say. Um, I will say um, they are bulkier than I kind of expected and actually to my dismay because I'm trying to kind of stray, stay away from bulky shoes because me being a little bit of a thicker, taller guy, I just really feel like bulky shoes don't really look that great on me, especially because I have thicker legs and you know, I even had to throw on a towel in Yeezy 500s because I love those shoes aesthetically, but they just don't look good on me for whatever reason. Um, these aren't too bad though, um, as I, I put them on. Now, I will say this, they are, as far as the out of the box, not the most comfortable shoe. <laughs> not the most comfortable shoe at all. And um, they, they feel a little hard, I would say. I actually expected there to be um, a little bit more uh, cushion, I guess, because I heard that Zig, the Zig technology is actually a cushioning technology. So I'm not really sure. And as you can see, there's a giant flap on the top of the shoe that kind of gives it its, it's probably the main part of the of the look of the shoe that gives it its very futuristic look. And it's called the, uh, the shelter shield. That's what it says there. You can't really read it. But m I'm assuming that it's supposed to block uh, you know, for you from splashing water or things like that. And just kind of the overall feel of the shoe strikes me as a shoe that's probably more waterproof than it is breathable, I guess. But we're going to get to some details in just a few moments here. So something else I'm pretty excited about actually with this shoe is I think this is the first time that I've ever bought a shoe that wasn't released in the United States yet. So you're probably wondering how the hell did you get it then if it's not released in the United States? Well, um, I actually bought them from sneakers and stuff. So shout out to sneakers and stuff because they actually had them in stock. And I thought sneakers and stuff was actually an American company. Turns out that they are out of France. <laughs> so that's how I was actually able to get a pair. They actually had the black ones and they actually had the gray ones. And um, I definitely wanted to get my hands on the gray ones, but they only had the black ones in my size, so I went for these. So right here, you can actually see the um, uh, the tech cushioning technology there. 
And even though that it's there, there's a soft spot in the back. And then right up front, they have this thing called the Float Ride Energy. And it looks a lot like Boost, which is actually in Adidas shoes if you're not familiar with Boost. But I'm assuming most people watching this are probably sneakerheads. So yeah, um, that particular system when you're standing with these shoes, you can't feel it at all. So it's really shocking that it's even there because it feels really hard. But again, maybe as time goes on and I break them in, I'll start to feel them. I'm not sure, but I definitely did not feel them as I was walking in them. So now the best part of the shoe has to be the lacing system. Right under the flap, uh, the uh, shelter shield flap, there's this, there's your laces right underneath there. And again, the shelter shield protects it. So again, I'm assuming it protects it from liquids. But then you take the front part. How it works is you take the, the, the part that's on the side of the flap and you wrap it around a little nub that's on the back of the shoe. And then you drag the front loop, hook it onto the little rubber hook that's on the front, and you push the button and you pull it back to tighten it. Pretty damn cool. And as you can see from the top view, these shoes look fucking awesome from the top view. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's how that lacing system works. It's and this is how you unlace it. You just kind of roll roll the uh, button down, unflap, unflap, boom, and they come right off. So I'm gonna show you guys what they kind of look like here with like three different styles of pants. As you can see here, this is a little bit more of a, a slimmer, skinnier, like taper fit. I know skinny jeans are kind of out now, but <laughs> um, but yeah, these are actually, believe it or not, these are actually in the tech realm because these are actually Wrangler ATG pants that they sell at Target, which is actually their technical fabric line. and. Um, they're definitely the most comfortable pants I own and I wear them constantly and they were only 28 bucks But this is what they look like with them. Like I said, the, sh the shoes are a little bit bulkier, but they're not exactly Dad shoe bulky. They're more a little bit more sleeker and futuristic Now this is a little less tapered more of a uh, straight slim style pants actually another one of my favorite pairs of pants this is actually the quantum pants from 511 tactical but i actually got them tapered because they were pretty pretty baggy at first but um definitely they seem that these shoes actually seem to fit really well with these pants too i actually like them with the very tapered skinnier look and i actually really really like them with these pants too so so far they're working out for being a little bit more of a bulkier shoe i can honestly say i think the sleekness of it just kind of makes it a little bit um, I don't know, easier to fall on, I guess, as far as the way the pants fall on shoes. So, yeah, definitely a pair of pants I'm going to be rocking with these shoes a lot if I decide to keep them. And then here I'm rocking them actually with a pair of Reebok pants. Uh, these are actually the Reebok utility pants. If you are a techwear uh, aficionado, um, like I'm trying to become <laughs> uh, These are actually a very very cool pair of pants to have in your arsenal. Uh, they're actually pretty cheap I only I got them for only 60 bucks. I think they're 80 regular price, but still very good price um, They were actually waterproof. They have waterproof material and uh, they have a very cool cropped look um, I would say the functionality of it is probably the waterproofing on them and it does work very very well I did do a video on these a few videos back if you want to check back but yeah i think they look good with these these shoes as well um you know it's always great when you can match brand for brand and it works out so yeah definitely think it's gonna be another look i'll be rocking more often so my final thoughts la familia youtube um on these shoes is i'm on the fence on how i really feel about them i feel like if i had to kind of give a um just my honest opinion. I feel like these shoes are something that you're going to, I feel like I'm going to need to break these in. Like, I feel like I'm going to need to like wear the hell out of them for like a month, like every day to really, really break them in. Cause I feel like they're one of those shoes that, excuse me, that you have to like break in. Like, I feel like you have to like really break them in in order to really, really get the full feel of them. Cause right out of the box, it's, It'd be very easy fit wise to for them to leave a bad first impression on you, I guess, so, because like I said, they feel really hard. Um, you know, a good comparison shoe uh, with with would be the uh, the Yeezy 700 V3. Um, 
uh, what do you call it? Yeah, the, the 700 V3s. <laughs> They're really cool, though, futuristic looking Yeezys. I, I have them in the black Alva pair, or the Alva, I think is what it's called, not black Alva, but they're black. And um, they remind me a lot of those. And those shoes actually over time became more comfortable. I'm not gonna say they're very comfortable, but definitely tolerable um, as I wore them. So I think these shoes are kind of the same way. Now I wanted to keep this uh, less than uh, 10 minutes, but that's just not possible because there's more to talk about. A couple more things I wanna mention here. Because they haven't been released in the United States yet, and again, I didn't know that. I actually thought that they, when High Snobiety made that post about it, I thought, oh, these are going to drop soon. So when I found them on sneakers and stuff, and then obviously I found out they sneakers and stuff's not out of the U.S. or out of France. Um, I was watching uh, Bullet RC, and if you are a sneakerhead, you know who Bullet RC is. And he actually uh, mentioned them in his Heater Hype video that he did just this past Sunday. And I was like, oh, so these aren't released yet. So, so yeah, so, you know, if you are, I, I have a feeling they're gonna become a hype shoe because I've seen a lot of the new colorways that are coming out for the States. I don't necessarily like them, but I think a lot of sneakerheads will. So, you know, that's the thing. So now I'm kind of on the fence because I kind of want to wait because if they end up skyrocketing in price, you know, I don't want to be wearing five, 600 bucks on my feet. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm on the fence whether I'm gonna keep them, but I feel like in order to really get the full experience from them i'm gonna have to wear the hell out of them to actually like really really break them in so you know that's all i have to say about them um i definitely love the way they absolutely they look amazing they they're so cool looking they look just as good uh in person in fact better in person than they do in the pictures so you know i'm definitely no no qualms there it's just more so the fit but with something like that that's so angular and all that other stuff i mean what do you expect it's not going to be something that's going to be you know, <laughs> it's probably not going to be the most comfortable thing ever. Lamborghinis aren't comfortable. You know, if you're a bigger guy and you own a Lamborghini, you you probably have a hard time getting in and out of that thing. But anyways, I'm not fat shaming. But <laughs> anyways, La Familia YouTube, I'm out of here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you know, you're actually kind of ahead of the curve along with me watching this video because like I said, they haven't even come out in the States yet. But, you know, I'm going to give them a 3.5 out of 5 you know, as far as first impressions go, um, I definitely think I'm going to keep them. They are a whopping $180, so they definitely feel quality, but they're just a little, like I say, there's some breaking in that needs to happen with them. So, you know, definitely get yourself a pair if you're digging them, especially aesthetically. Okay, too much. I'm out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next week.